How the heck are you? It's me, American Bowhead, coming at you with another video about steering. I know I've done a couple already, and each one is a little bit different. So today I'm going to show you my latest one and see if you like it. And if you do, tell me all about how much you love it. And give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get all the uh, other videos I make. This one's going to be pretty boring if you're not interested in steering, so uh, a little disclaimer. Just go watch something else, one of my other videos, if you want some exciting boat adventures. So this is my hydraulic slash hynotic steering. I'm not sure which it's called, but it uses fluid, namely water. But the whole system costs about 10 bucks, so it's not a big deal. Let's go. Let's go check it out. This particular boat has a strange layout and application, so it's a little uh, different than the typical one I make, so thought I'd just show you what I came up with. So there's my throttle using the original speed controller selector out of the head. And then I have a little coffee maker lid or something. I just need something circular and small enough to hit, fit in my hand because I need to be able to lay down in there and drive. So this is a, able to be moved wherever I'd like. Let's just do a quick test here. I think you can already see what my method is here, but oh, that does not make me happy. What was that about? Sometimes there's air in the line, I think. So, I don't know why it was sticking at the beginning. That hasn't happened yet. Probably because the camera was on. But, it's not fast. But it can be very versatile in a lot of different applications for your boat. Let's see if I can go a little faster turn here. If I need to. So, it does have a little lag. There's a little error in the system. And if you know science, then you know that air compresses a little bit. The fluid does not, so it's pretty good. Pretty good if you don't have air bubbles in there. But even a little one is fine. It's pretty self-explanatory what's going on here. And looking back, if I hadn't made all these other holes from different steering setups, which I had about three other ones that were just too sloppy and didn't quite work out. If I wouldn't have done that, I would just cut a notch all the way through here, and I still may and then put all this inside the boat where it looks a lot better, where you can't see it at all. But here's what's going on. This guy's at kind of an angle. And then as it turns, the angle keeps... Keeps uh, everything in line. So there's a couple cool things that you can mess with if you do this system. One is different sizes of syringes so that you're basically, if it was gears, it'd be like a gear ratio, but it's a fluid ratio. So on mine, for example, I have a 20 milligram milliliter here and a 35 here so it takes less turning of this to do more movement there and I might change that I have it that way because I'm limited in how far I can pull out before it will suck air past the plunger that's what this stopper here is for so that it turns all the way. This is a lot easier with two hands. And then stops. Otherwise, you get an angle on this rod and the air will suck past the plunger. So I had to go with the smaller one in the back to increase the, the uh, ratio, whatever we're going to call it. It's a pretty simple linkage. You can see here. Another cool thing about these syringes, if you get a the right size one, you get a quarter inch 
bolt. You can just simply pop off the plunger. And if you get the right round one, quarter inch works for these, it'll pop right in that sucker. Obviously, if you have this bigger one, you'd have to jump up to a 7 sixteenths just so that it doesn't just pop out. You can run the uh, water line anywhere you like. Mine, I have to be able to lay down prone. So I'm gonna put that right there. And I can just drive and look around and whatnot. So that's what I got. I've tried a bunch of different systems. Here's another one that I had going on. It worked pretty good. Just some electrical uh, fish, not fish tape, but fishing rod. And it goes around in this PEX tubing. And then it just incrementally gets smaller and smaller. But the smallest tube I had still leaves a lot of slop in there. So there was a good quarter inch of play just from it bending inside. So I had to kind of ditch that. I had a pretty cool setup too, but no bueno, no go. And of course there's a lot of configurations you can do. You can just have your steering wheel, you know, push and pull on the old plunger. Problem is, is that it's kind of a, it makes a radius, kind of an arc. So it needs to be somewhat flexible as in this type of thing. You can see it's all the way to the side, not centered at all. Otherwise I could just hook it to the original plunger and it would work fine, but it needs to be able to move quite a bit because as you'll see, it's kind of centered now, but as it turns back, it goes real close and changes. So it's pretty flexible. I like it a lot. Hopefully it works. It's kind of stiff. I'm not, not a fan of that. It's kind of slow. I'm used to really responsive lever steering. Up to date, this is my favorite system here. These are all quarter inch threaded usually. So that can be used to hold on to steer and to keep the motor from falling up, down past your mounts, whichever. But this one is using a push-pull steering method there. And it's simple and effective and it doesn't break and it works and I love it. But I'm also going to paint this up so it's not as obvious, I guess. But uh, let me know what you think. Mini boats and more group. I would love to hear from you, especially because a lot of you are like me and lay awake at night thinking of different steering setups. And you might not have thought of this one yet. And maybe you can post something that you've thought of and I haven't. I doubt it, but maybe. Uh, next weekend, maybe I might be driving this into the water. Just gonna make a big old splash. Cannot wait. Anyways, thanks for watching. Give it a like, subscribe, cut your thumbnails, cut your fingernails so they don't look gross. <laughs>